Inside Goldstream G650ER, the most trusted business jet. Hello lovely YouTube family, welcome back to the luxury kingdom. In today's video, we are going to talk about Inside Goldstream G650ER, the most trusted business jet. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. The Goldstream G650 is a large business jet produced by Goldstream Aerospace. The model is designated Goldstream G6 in its type certificate and may be configured to carry from 11 to 18 passengers. Goldstream began the G650 program in 2005 and revealed it to the public in 2008. The G650 was formerly the company's largest and fastest business jet with a top speed of Mach 0 0.925, having been surpassed by the larger G700. The aircraft project was named the 2014 winner of the Collier Trophy for having strengthened business aviation through significant technological advancements in aircraft performance, cabin comfort, and safety. The G650ER is an extended range version of the G650, adding about 500 nautical miles of range. The 300th was delivered in April 2018, just over five years since introduction in December 2012. The 400th was delivered in December 2019, seven years after the type's introduction. The G700 should share its fly-by-wire cockpit with the G500 and G600. Active control side sticks and Honeywell Primus Epic flight deck with synthetic and enhanced vision systems for a common type rating. The jet is 110 feet, 33.5 meters, long about 9.8 feet, 3 meters, longer than the G650ER and about 0.98 feet, 0.3 meters, shorter than the competing Bombardier Global 7500. Its main cabin is 57 feet, 17.4 meters, long, 6.2 feet, 1.9 meters, high, and 8.2 feet, 2.5 meters, wide, 2.6 feet, 0.8 meters, longer, 0.33 feet, 0.1 meters, wider, and a fraction taller than the 7,500's cabin. It should carry 19 seated passengers or a sleep 10. It will have a MTOW of 107,600 pounds, 48,800 kilogram, and the 18,250 pound force, 81.2 kilonewton. Turbofans should burn 2 to 3% less fuel than the G650's RRBR 725s. The aircraft should take off from a 6,250 feet, 1,905 meters, runway at MTOW and land in 2,500 feet, 762 meters, at a typical landing weight. It has the same 1,283 square feet, 119.2 square meters, wing with its 33-degree wing sweep, but the more outboard candid winglets are 3.4 feet, 1.0 meters, wider. The basic operating weight increases from 54,500 to 56,000 pounds, 24,700 to 25,400 kilograms, and the wet wing fuel capacity increased slightly by 1,200 pounds, 540 kilograms. The Pearl 700 turbofan is an improved version of the BR-725, with one more low-pressure turbine stage, an overall pressure ratio over 50 to 1, and a bypass ratio higher than 6.5 to 1 for a 3 to 5% better thrust-specific fuel consumption. After flight tests, it should best its competitor's 7,700 nautical mile, 14,300 kilometer, range and reach up to 7,800 to 8,000 nautical miles, 14,400 to 14,800 kilometers. Design The G650 has a cruise speed of Mach 0.85 to 0.9, with maximum speed of Mach 0.925 and a range of up to 7,000 nautical miles, 13,000 kilometers. It can be equipped with a full kitchen and bar, and may be equipped with a variety of entertainment features, including satellite telephones and wireless internet. The jet uses two Rolls-Royce BR-725 engines, each producing a maximum thrust of 17,000 pound force, 7 to 5.6 kilonewton. Goldstream states 
that with a weight of less than 100,000 pounds, 45,400 kilograms, it is able to land at small airports avoiding the busy airports around the world. To provide better usage of the internal volume, Gulfstream designers rejected the usual circular fuselage cross-section in favor of an oval which uses a flatter lower portion 43 the cabin is 8 feet 6 inches, 2.59 meters, wide and 6 feet 5 inches, 1.96 meters, high, allowing the craft to be configured to carry between 11 and 18 passengers. The fuselage is of metal construction. Composite materials are used for impenage, winglets, rear pressure bulkhead, engine cowlings, cabin floor structure, and many fairings. The elliptical cabin windows, eight on each side of the fuselage, are 28 inches, 71 centimeters, wide. Panels are bonded rather than riveted, reducing parts count compared to the G550. The wing uses greater sweep, 36 degrees, than previous Gulfstream aircraft, for example. The G550 wing has 27 degrees of sweep, it does not use leading-edge high-lift devices, and tracks for rear-mounted flaps are completely enclosed within the airflow contour. The wing's leading edge is a continuously changing curve, and the airfoil varies continuously from root to tip, which incorporates winglets. The aircraft controls are completely fly-by-wire, with no mechanical control between pilot and flight surfaces. The surfaces are moved by dual hydraulic systems, the G650 shares its yokes in column with the G550 in an effort to receive a common type rating. While most newer airliners now employ fly-by-wire technology, the G650 was only the second fly-by-wire business jet, after the Dassault Falcon 7X and before the Embraer Legacy 500. At FL470 and ISA 7 degrees C, it cruises at Mach 0 0.85 or 480 knots, 890 kilometers per hour. TES and burns 2,400 pounds, 1,100 kilograms per hour at a weight of 67,500 pounds, 30,600 kilograms, raising to 3,000 pounds, 1,400 kilograms per H at Mach 0 0.9 or 506 knots, 937 kilometers per hour. TES. The G700's flight deck is upgraded to the symmetry flight deck from the G500 and G600. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.